What up, y'all? I've already made a video about how to transfer your files, any files, to iPhone, iPad, iPad, um, without jailbreak or without the need of uh, iTunes. So this is an update video and a comparison in between version 1 and version 2. So this is the app, Walter 2, and um, it is out and you get 24 hour of use with it and if you want to purchase it there's licenses there's different types of kind available for you to buy which I'll show you when we go on the computer so let's jump on the computer all right so once you go on the link in the description you'll go to this page basically it will tell you all it's all about but try free and then it will download automatically <clears throat> and these are the steps it will tell you what to do which I'll take you through as well pretty simple and then, but in the meantime I was downloading let's check out the prices <clears throat> so it's a single license thirty nine ninety five. what the hell are they thinking it's free to jailbreak you know what I mean and then and then the rest is just ridiculous look at that Walter 2 family pack what the hell? Five licenses for Mac and Windows. Blah. Really, bro? Really, bro? That is crazy. Too much. Too expensive. But this product is great, though. Alright, let's download this. So, double click. And then open it. And then you should see Walter. Start Walter, too. And then <coughs> this guy will pop up, Josh. Thank you for downloading, Josh. Nah. And then, um, yeah, I'll fast forward the hell out of him. Uh, Alright, then he will ask you for your email address. There you go, I'll put in my email address. They'll ask you to check your email. And then check your email, make sure you give the right email. The one that you have access to any email, really. <coughs> and then go to email. Check it, the email should look like this. Let's get started. That unique code. For the purpose of this video, oh shit, I'll just select it and then copy, or command C, control C on Mac, on Windows, and then paste it, and then you're good to go, and you get that, yep, 24 hours, and really connect any device, and I'm going to connect my iPod, my iPod, and then basically close iTunes or the photos that'll pop up. You don't have to, but you can. It's annoying when they pop up. All right, so it's, it's simple as just dragging any file and dropping it like this to drag onto the top and then release it. <coughs> And it's cool, it will identify the file and then uh, it should be good. In a second, it shouldn't take too long. But um, if you th and then you should do the loading thing and then I'll give you a tick and ask, it will tell you where to go after you do it. Like if it's photo, it will tell you to go to photos for music, it's music, you know what I'm saying. If it's books, you'll go to go iBook. But yes, but if you think 24 hours isn't enough, but the first version was 14 days, which I'll have a link to the video right now on the screen, which you can check out. So that's it for this video, and check out the other video if you want to get 14 days with this. It's a cool product, but it's too expensive. Cheers.